Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited because today I'm going to show you how to make those trendy faux fur bags. Now, let's get started. Hey guys, for this DIY, you're going to need for the outside some fluffy or faux fur fabric and then a linen fabric for the inside. You're also going to need scissors, some pins, and of course, a sewing machine. Let's get started. Now that you have folded it in half, take a piece of paper that you want as the size of your bag. So I just took an A4 paper and folded it to the size that I want my bag to be. Place that paper on top of the fabric. Make sure to leave a seam allowance um, at both sides, right, left, and also on top. Let's go ahead and cut it out. It should look something like this. And this will then be the outside of the bag. Let's do the same thing with the linen fabric. Fold the fabric in half, put your paper on top of it, and just cut it out. Just like this. These two fabrics should now be the exact same size, like this. It's time to sew it. Start with the outer fabric. Take your pins and now just put pins along these two sides. If you have a little bit of excess pieces like I do, just go ahead and cut it out. Let's sew it. All you need to do is sew here together and here together as well. Just a straight line across both sides. Choose a thread color that is similar to your fabric. And now, let's sew it! So it should look like this, just a straight line across the side. Let's go ahead and sew on the other side. And ta-da, just like this. Let's do the same thing, but with the linen fabric. And ta-da, it should look like this, just a straight line across. and cut out the excess threads. Cut the excess fabric a little bit thinner, but make sure it's not too thin so that it won't rip or anything. Before we flip it inside out, go ahead and cut it at an angle, like so, so that when you flip it, there won't be so much fabric and the edges will come out cleaner. Go ahead and take your line and fabric and flip it over. The right side of the fabric should be facing outwards. Put the line and fabric inside of the outer fabric. Make sure the edges of the line and fabric is touching the edges of the outer fabric. So it should look like this now. The back side of the furry fabric should be here and then you should see the right side of the furry fabric, the right side of the linen fabric, the inside of the linen fabric, both right sides should be facing together. Go ahead and pin it right here along both sides. It should look something like this. It's time to sew it. Go ahead and sew with a straight line again right here and also here, so all around it, but leave about five centimeters space here and on the other side so that later you can flip it up. Cut off the excess frets. And you 
guys, it should look like this. So I just sew the straight line here and here. Here is not sewn together. And here is also not sewn together. Flip it out. And it should look like this. Push the lining fabric inside of the fluffy fabric. Like this. So here's the inside. The right fabric should be here. And here's the outside. It's already looking super cute. And ta-da! The bad part is finished. Let's move on to the shoulder strap. Take out your full fur fabric. We're going to cut the strap. So for the width of the strap, I'm going to make it about 3 centimeters. You can make it wider or thinner to your preference. Since I wanted 3 centimeters, I'm going to have about 6 centimeters here. Because later we're going to fold it in half to sew it. So you're going to need double the size of the width that you want. As for the length, it's really up to you. Just remember, we're later going to put the strap inside here and we're going to need about two centimeters. So two centimeters on each side. You're going to have to have that in mind that if you cut the length, to add four centimeters more. Let's cut it. Fold it in half. The right side should face the right side like this. And let's pin it down. It's time to sew it. Just sew a straight line right along the whole thing. And remember to leave some seam allowance so that it won't rip. Let's start sewing. So one side of the strap shut straight line across here. Like this. Let's flip it inside out. Use a stick to help you flip it inside out. I'm just using the stick from the brush, but you can use anything like a chopstick, kebab stick, whatever you have, even a pencil works. Take the side that you sewed and now push your stick on that side to flip it inside out. Time to connect the strap to the bag. Okay, so we need to pin it. Let's pin the strap first. Put your strap in the hole of the bag. Sure, the fabric on the outside and on the inside is folded up nicely and don't have any excess fabric sticking out. And when everything seems good, we can then pin it down. Let's pin the other side. Make sure you don't have your strap twisted around. just going to use the sewing machine and sew a straight line around the whole bag. Let's sew it. And it's done! Ta-da! It's so cute and adorable. It's so cute that I even made two. One for me and one for my sister. cute you should definitely try it out and you guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed like and subscribe for more bye see you guys next time